Crossing Heaven's Border tells the moving and dramatic stories of North Korean defectors. In the past decade, up to 100,000 refugees have crossed the waters of the Tumen River into northeast China to escape life under the North Korean regime. In this clip from the PBS series Wide Angle, we follow part of the harrowing 3,000-mile journey of a girl and a boy smuggled overland through China, Laos and Thailand in the hope of finding freedom in South Korea. The film airs on PBS on July the 1st. The journey begins with a smuggler taking them on a 10-hour bus ride from Shenyang to Beijing. After we arrived in Beijing, on our way to the border, the defectors stopped eating. The look in their eyes changed. Their desire for freedom was so big. For them, freedom was a matter of life and death. <laughs> they were risking everything they had to get to their destination. At the Beijing train station, the defectors and journalists melt into the crowd, avoiding authorities, pretending not to know each other, nervously waiting to board the train. Once on board, the group must hide from Chinese officials. <laughs> The inspections from the Chinese police were endless. We were always the target. When it happened, we'd flee or pretend to be sleeping. After three tense days, they finally arrive in Kunming in southern China. From there, they face an eight-hour drive through the mountains toward the jungle border with Laos. Yang Hua claims to be confident that the trip will succeed. But she reveals to the journalists that she is carrying a poison capsule with her, just in case. <sighs> At nightfall, the group sets out to cross the China-Laos border, on foot through the jungle. We couldn't see anything. It was pitch black. But the smuggler told us to keep moving forward. In many